Welcome to the channel everybody. For today's tutorial video we are covering the topic of starting scenarios. So in the Unreal world there are 13 different starting scenarios which can affect everything from the gear you're carrying to your health condition to whether or not you have an animal companion with you when you start out in the game. But first I want to give credit to one of my loyal viewers and commenters out there. Thank you so much for suggesting this topic. It's a really good idea and I appreciate that. If anybody else out there has any ideas for tutorial videos, please drop them down in the comment section. I've got plans on doing a fishing one as well. And that was another comment or suggestion. So that's coming up guys. And we've got a whole bunch of other tutorial videos already out. So subscribe to the channel. Check the link down in the description below if you'd like to see the rest of those. Also, I've got many Unreal World series, but anyway, let's get started with the video today. So pretty straightforward. We're just going to go right down the list, choosing each starting scenario with a brand new character. I won't subject you to all the boring character creation parts. We're going to go from one to the other to the other real quick, but uh, mainly we'll be looking at gear and any other special conditions that might be associated with the scenario. So the first one is the most basic. It's it's probably the one suggested most for new players who aren't familiar with certain mechanics like fishing or you know agriculture if you just want a set of good gear you go with the unreal world scenario so let's jump into this one and see what kind of start we get okay here we are as you can see the world is fresh we have no knowledge of the surroundings but we can certainly take a look at our inventory so let's check out what we've got ah here we go so we've got the knife the camo spear which probably is most likely because my character is a Kamalanian. So that's the culture I chose. If you were an owl tribe, you might actually get a bow or something like that. Or a seal tribe, you'd probably get another kind of a spear. But, you know, it is random. That is something to emphasize. The nature of the gear we get is going to be random. But a lot of it's pretty fairly consistent, especially like food, you'll notice. In these basic starts, you get a pretty decent, like a day or two's worth of food here. We can see two breads. That's four pounds right there and then some actual meat to get us started a cord that's fairly common too in a generous start you could make potentially some different uh, traps out of this or even use it to dry your first kill of meat and of course the clothing now i will say the woolen socks are a nice addition to this setup here it's not the best he doesn't have an overcoat or anything but he's definitely got some good woolen clothing including the socks so decent little start like i said for the first scenario there's not much else to it now they're real spe special conditions other than the gear so let's hop into the second one one and see what we start with. All right, the second starting scenario is called The Village. Start playing outside a strange but cozy looking village. So that sounds interesting. I wonder if it'll be a part of a culture or not. Let's find out. Okay, we're now at the world map and immediately we have sight of a village. So I have to push space to continue. That's pretty cool. Let's zoom out a little bit, and before we look at our inventory, let's take a look at the overall map. Oh, so we are in a culture here. We're in the Kukuya tribe, or however you pronounce it, um, which is different from his native culture. This guy is a drick. But anyway, let's check his gear. Oh, so he's got a fine knife. Oh, I'm sorry, broad knife, fine javelin, fine woodsman's axe. That's a big get. Clothing, not that great, but he does have a fine fur overcoat. It's got some decent stuff. It might be because he is a drick, too. I think culture can affect it fairly well. But um, some of the fine nature is probably because the drick are a very rich culture. But you can see food is nearly identical to what the first guy had. Pretty similar there. Four pounds of bread and a little bit of meat. So, again, this is good. And if we, I guess we'll enter the village real quick. Probably not much to it. And depending on the area of the world where this village spawns at and you come in yeah they'll have some reindeer or something or maybe they'll have dogs too so it's just going to be a random village but anyway let's move on to the next scenario okay and scenario number three is the runaway slave it is known as the most dangerous and difficult start so having been a slave to the nerpezit 
the hated tribe. For years, you finally take a step to escape from your captor. So let's jump into this one. I do have a series based around this. It's called the Runaway Slave Playthrough, strangely enough. I've got that link down in the description too, but um, it's, a, it's a challenging one for sure. So anyway, enough delaying. Let's get into it. Okay, we start immediately zooming in to an enemy tribe. You can see they're nearby within sight of us here. And I will mention too that for these scenario starts, I'm not doing anything special with these characters. I'm not tailoring their physiques or re-rolling at all. I'm just going with basic guys. But of course I mentioned that just because this is likely a fatal is scenario he start here but let's just see what gear we have hitting the inventory doesn't pass any time so we won't get jumped as soon as we leave or exit the screen here but you can see like i said most one of the most challenging starts no doubt about it not just because of the combat we're likely to get into but because you start with virtually nothing a knife and a little bit of clothes and that's going to be very consistent you might get a small knife you might get a a rough knife or a, a poor knife or whatever but you're going to get basically what you see here. So now the uh, one thing you can do is just to choose to turn and run, you know. Oh, man, they're all over the place. Yeah, and some of them are already going hostile. Because you start off, there's no way. Oh, they're shooting arrows at me. Oh, yeah. There's no way for you to be like a good slave in this immediately. They see you as hostile and they start attacking you here with this scenario. Yep. Oh, there we go. We're unconscious and we can barely do anything, but there's like 20 of them. Well, you can see this isn't going to go well. So definitely still remains the most challenging starting scenario. Runaway slave. All right, and the unfortunate hunting trip is next. This might be one of the scenarios I've never tried personally, but it says your father lies dead on the ground and the beast who killed him is still present. Oh boy. Well, interesting. Let's jump into this one. Okay, we just loaded right up. Oh, okay, there it is. A little blood pool. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now, I assume it's going to be a bear. In fact, that's the picture on the... Uh, little loading screen for this scenario, but it could be a wolf. Oh, I don't see him. Uh, he's not popping out. I mean, one thing we can do is if we hit our look button and use the auto target command, no, it doesn't jump to any targets, so there's nothing in our view. Let's try it in this direction, because even if he was kind of obscured by a tree, nope, the auto lock on will still jump to him. But okay, so I see the blood. Where's our father's corpse? Because we might be able to loot something off it. Oh, there's some tracks right there. Let's see. What are these? Very small. Oh, very small. I'm sorry. Very fresh. Small wolf tracks. So it is a wolf. Very dangerous. You do not want to tangle with the wolves. Man, oh, man. Well, let's check our inventory real quick and just take a look at what this guy starts with. Oh, a hunting knife. Woodsman's axe. Hey, would you look at that? A broadsword. Wow, that's going to be fairly valuable for sure. Some meager clothing. Pretty meager indeed. Leather shoes. You got the overcoat. but um, And, of course, the pretty standard food, as we've come to expect. So, this guy's actually pretty well off with that broadsword, no doubt about it. Uh, let's see here. And, no, again, there's no special... Oops, I guess... Yeah, there's no special training in swords that caused him to get that. And I'm also with these characters just going down the list in terms of the cultures too. So this guy is a Remy Remy. Yeah, he's one of the Remy. Um well so far I don't see the wolf or my father's corpse, but that would be left up to the player to search the general area. Probably follow the tracks would be your best bet if you want to try and take revenge or at the very least try and loot whatever your dad might have had on him, which is probably advisable. But there we go. Let's move on to the next scenario. Lonely Settler is next. You find yourself alone on a foreign ground with two unfinished cottages. Interesting description. Let's check it out. Okay, we start right at a loading screen. Interesting. They weren't lying. Look, there's an axe on the ground too right there. That looks like a carving axe to me. Let's check it out. Yep, we've got ourselves a plain old good carving axe. Oh, there's another one. 
Yeah, that looks like a splitting axe. Let's check it out. There it is. We got a splitting axe. Oh, this is cool. This is, I was going to say, this is probably, oh, broad axe. Yep, nailed it. These are the perfect axes you need for setting up cottages. This is a really cool start. Let's see what else he got. Okay, we've got the knife, fine hunting knife. Of course, the three axes we just picked up. Oh, he's got a short sword too. Splitting axe, broad axe, we picked those up. Wow, wow, wow. And he had the woodsman's axe with him as well. So these three here at the bottom we just found. Gear-wise, pretty straightforward. Nothing great. The fur mittens, that's good to have. But, um, yeah, I'd probably rather have a fur cloak than a nettle cloak, to be honest. Skin, that's one. That's a new one we haven't seen yet. And the standard food there. A little bit of bread and meat to start with. Now, I would say that this cottage is pretty amazing. Look at this. There's even some boards in here already pre-made in slender trunks. Wow. This is a good start for somebody maybe intermediate who really wants to focus in on building. You know, this would be a great start for that. But definitely a nice one. All right, and this next one is one of my personal favorites. It is a very challenging start, The Hurt, Helpless, and Afraid. So after Runaway Slave, this is, I would say, per, from my opinion, the most, second most difficult start. Wounded and left for dead, you struggle to survive in the wilderness. So let's jump into this one. There are definitely some special conditions we'll talk about once we get into the world. Okay, loading up. Check that out. We're pretty, pretty hurt to zoom in like losing consciousness right away. So you can see that we're in bad shape. I can't even stand up. It says your serious leg injuries make it impossible. So when I said special conditions, this is what I meant. The character's physician skill, if we go into that, will show us that he is very badly injured. Now, the injuries themselves are random, and sometimes when you start off with hurt, helpless, and afraid, you won't be able to see properly. But you're never gonna have fatal, like you won't be actively bleeding, at least I've never had an active bleeding wound. In other words, you do have the chance to stabilize and nurse yourself back to health, so to speak. This one would definitely be a particularly difficult start, not even be able to, able to literally stand up, because there's some things you can't do unless you can stand up, like chop trees down and stuff. But let's check the guy's gear. Okay, yep, so like the runaway slave start, you start with almost nothing. You're guaranteed to get a knife, for sure. What type of knife? It's random. Well, here we got a hunting knife, which is a pretty good start. And then you got your clothing, and it's pretty rough. It's not tattered, but quality just isn't there, really. But you can see that's all she wrote for the hurt, helpless, and afraid scenario. And from here, you got to build your way from the ground up. All right, moving right along, we are on to traps and trapping. You start playing fully equipped with tools for passive hunting. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, it starts us here on the world map this time. We can, let's just take a look at a random spot here. Yeah, again, I'm not spending any time choosing where, but heard, I thought maybe it would start us in a culture for this one. Nope. Let's see what we got here. So rough broad knife, not that great. Staff, eh. hand axe, well, that's helpful, certainly. Clothing, he's almost naked. He's got a shirt, trousers, and some footwear, and that's it. But he does have some cordage. Two loop snares, which would definitely be helpful. A shovel, that's huge. And the standard food. In addition, he's got some steaks too, which is interesting. It's not that hard to make steaks, but the fact that he's got those right off the bat. This would be used for making trap fences. And also, if you wanted, you could do a pit trap. It's basically, you know, a hole that you dig and cover it with sticks and stuff in the ground. But you can also set up spikes in it. So I think you could use those wooden stakes as the spikes for that. But I'll tell you, the shovel and making pit traps are extremely effective. Those things can bag you an entire elk or a bear. Yeah, really great trap. But pretty good start, no doubt about it. I, now, again, I can't promise that you always get a shovel. But who knows? You might get like a, fo a fox trap instead of that. But this was definitely a good start. Okay, and for this one, looks like another very specialized start. I want to be a fisherman. Carrying extensive fishing equipment, you start to follow your path as a fisherman. Let's go. 
Okay, another world map start here. Let's just take a peek. Yep, random start location pretty much. And inventory wise, we've got a hunting knife, two northern spears. Wow, this guy is really wealthy. There's literally no reason to have two of those. And you could easily trade those away. I also believe that's the particular type of spear that you can double as a skiing stick. I think it's the northern spear. Let me know down in the comments, is that right? But um, anyway, let's take a look at the clothing fur cloak and a nettle cloak. Very interesting setup here. Trousers, literally walking around shirtless with two cloaks on. Interesting character. Another character with the skin. Okay, that's for, of course, I didn't say it in the beginning. I just assume people know, but I shouldn't. This is for carrying liquids. Um, you might be able to put meat and stuff in these. I've never tried it, though, but it's just a liquid container, like a water skin. Ah, so here we go, the fishing stuff. We got a rod with iron hook, beautiful, and two nets. That's perfect for a fisherman two nets that's a great start those are very valuable and here we see the standard bread and meat starting food but yeah this guy would definitely be well on his way to some fish meals now he just got to find a water source and for the next one we've got abandoned trap fence sounds like a rather mysterious start i think it's also the one with the least description here you find an old trip trap fence in the wilderness all right let's see what it looks like okay we start zoomed in here let's see there's the fence oh look it's already got some traps set up too at least i believe trigger trap pit yeah so all we have to do would be to reset this oh that's super there's a bird right there fall into my trap bird look he's going to <laughs> no this is let's see how extensive it goes um it's going up there's another trap pit right there we would have to reset yeah we can literally walk across it wow this is pretty long i can't get through here the trees are in my way you know what i can always climb the fence yep there's another one jeez look at this so where exactly are we oh, okay i think this is where it ends obviously we could explore the other end of it too let's just look it's going to be a random spot you know nowhere nothing special probably about the starting location but this is really cool now I assume that every start, the traps would probably be triggered, so it's unlikely you'll be able to come in here and actually stumble upon an animal right away. But, I mean, reset these, give it a day or two, and you probably would. But last thing, let's check his inventory. I assume it's a pretty standard start. Northern knife, rough northern spear. Again, good spear, even though it's rough quality. Ah, another guy with woolen socks on. Fine gentleman indeed here. Leather boots, trousers, undershirt, woolen shirt, and those premium socks. The standard amount of food, so nothing special here. Certainly almost kind of light compared to some of the other guys we've seen. All right, and next on the list is the abandoned camp. You find an old camp with a shelter, firewood, and useful items. Sounds interesting. I hope it's a treasure. Let's find out. Okay, and we are zooming right in. Oh, is that an iron helmet? I think there's literally an iron helmet on the ground in front of me. All right. So again, random nature. What we get here? A netting needle. That's probably for sewing or something yeah that goes into the tools category it's a very small item it's got to be f oh you know what it's for making nets i just figured it out guys and what do we have here is that an iron spectacle helm what okay we're putting that on right away for sure let's see there's the shelter firewood slender trunk wow that that helmet is a huge get and again who knows you might get a spear or shovel whatever i don't know my first time actually trying this one i think He's got a northern spear too. Very good. Again, just going down the list. We're at the bottom of the culture right now. It's seal tribe. So the next one, we'll start the list again at the combo. But they're getting some good stuff here. Rough club. This is our first guy we've seen with a bow and arrow, shockingly enough, which it's not that uncommon. You do start a lot of the time, depending you know, as long as you're not going for the most extreme challenges. But that's interesting. First time seeing it. He's got a lot of clothing. <laughs> Setting aside the Iron Spectacle helm, of course. He's got the rough fur cloak, shirt, fur footwear, trousers. Not bad. And a netting needle we found. The cord's pretty standard in the food. Same we've been seeing here. So, good start for sure. And the location, again, is just where I randomly joined in at. But 
Nonetheless, I like this scenario. Okay, agriculture is next. Pretty straightforward, self-explanatory. You possess some valuable seeds and are ready to try out your agricultural skills. Okay, let's see what we get. And once again, right here on the world map. Okay, let's uh, see what we've got. Rough knife, a staff, rough splitting axe. Okay. Rough leather boots, trousers, shirt, woolen overcoat. Not terrible, but a lot of rough stuff there for sure. Now, he's got a shovel, and I can tell you that I have made a few characters now for the other tutorials I've done recently with the same starting scenario, agriculture. Every single one of them has started with a shovel. In fact, it is pretty much mandatory to have a shovel when you are going to do agriculture because you have to turn the ground essentially but yeah so that's really nice and helpful and it's a metal shovel too none of the characters i've started either have had a wooden one to start with which is amazing but anyway look at this list of seeds now there's not a lot some of them you literally just have two pinches or two fistfuls but there are also another consistent thing i've noticed i've done three this might be the fourth time i've started this scenario recently they are always identified too which is interesting this character knows all the cultivated crops apparently which maybe not all the cultivated crops but at least the ones he's given seeds for he has knowledge of which you don't always have knowledge of the cultivated crops but really really strong starting scenario if you do want to get into that agricultural skill all right, and we are almost done, sadly. There Be Robbers is the second to last one on our list. You encounter a band of ruffians in the wilderness. Now this sounds like one of the most challenging, probably right up there in the top three. So let's just see what these ruffians look like. Okay, and we start immediately zooming in, which is pretty typical on an encounter like this. I don't see anybody. Let's, let's use our automatic look finder. Nope. There's no entities in our field of view. Let's turn. Look. Wow, there's literally nobody around us. Can we just zoom out? Yes. Oh, wow. So, pretty general rule of thumb if you encounter, like, robbers or a Nurpezit warrior. If you're able to zoom out and get back to this overworld map, you're pretty much home free, as long as you don't turn around and walk back into the encounter, you know? Because when you do come across enemies like that, you're forced to get into the local terrain and confront them, but... As long as you get to a point where you can zoom out like this on the world map, you're set. So I don't know if that was a particularly lucky start for the robbers one or if it's just generally they're nowhere in sight and you're kind of scot-free. But let's check our condition. Yeah, no injuries. Okay. Now inventory. Ah, a knife, a woodsman's axe, leather boots, trousers, and an undershirt. Well, at least he's got a shirt on. Uh, and the food, standard. So this guy's pretty bare bones, but again, the random nature, that could just be, you know, he got unlucky in his life. But um, nonetheless, very interesting one. It might be worth trying it again and again. If you're looking for something challenging, though, we've covered, like I say, probably the top two already, Hurt, Helpless, and Afraid, and the uh, Runaway Slave, but... This one, I don't know. Might have to test it again a few times to really get a good feel for it. Okay, and in the interest of time, we're just going to move on to the final scenario. But the There Be Robbers definitely does deserve a few more tries. So if you guys are out there and you've experimented with it before, let me know down in the comments. Have you ever gotten into a start where you encountered the robbers themselves? But anyway, like I said, on to Not All Who Wander Are Lost. Arguably the cuddliest of the starting scenarios. You set out into the unforgiving wilderness with a four-legged companion. So I have done this one before and I know the animal is random. It can be a dog, a sheep, or probably any animal that's, you know, viable or domesticated here in the unreal world. But enough talking. Let's see what pet we get. Okay, and we start zoomed in a little bit here. Let's come in a little closer. There it is. It's a sheep. Uh, is it a male or female? A small ram. So that's a male, obviously. No milk from this guy, sadly, but... I mean, it's it's literally a walk-in dinner, you know, so. And there are some mods that allow you to shear sheep and make wool. I don't think that's in the base game, sadly. But like I said, the animal's random, too. So let's check the gear for this guy as well. 
All right, he's got, I think, a pretty standard outfit here. Just the knife, spear, uh, ooh, and an axe. That's nice. Pretty bare bones clothing. Okay. And uh, he started with a fine fishing rod. That's unique. And I don't think that's necessarily common for the companion one, but he did get lucky. And the standard food ration. There we go. So interesting start, guys. Pretty standard, like I said, but you just get the animal. Start off a little bit better than your generic standard start. So another good one for a newer player or somebody who just loves animals. But anyway, that's going to do it for the scenarios. I appreciate everybody who's tuned in for this one. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun making this particular video for sure. I hope it was informative. Maybe you learned some of the pros and cons of the different scenarios. The randomness, of course, does affect it. And truly no scenario is better than any other. It's just how you want to play the game. You know, if you want the extreme challenge of runaway slave or hurt helpless and afraid then that's the way to go but if you want to go for more of that tailored lifestyle like a fisherman or a farmer then you know what choice you're going to make but anyway guys again big shout out thank you for the suggestion for this video anybody else please leave me some comments down below always great to hear from you guys thank you for joining me and i will see you on the next one